Hey you guys! Today is Sunday and I just woke up. We're about to go run and get me some coffee. But I wanted to kind of update you guys a little bit. Friday we had to do Costco. We ended up running to the Victoria's Secret Pink Friday sale, which this is the last year they're, they're ever gonna make me feel like I need to go to that sale because it was garbage. There was nothing at all <laughs> interesting or what I would need or anything like that. It just bugs me. That's pretty much why I don't get a ton of stuff from Pink. I get a lot of like accessories and stuff, but like when it comes to like clothing or anything like that, they just don't have good deals and they'll try and tell you it's a good deal and then you like have to think about it and realize that's not a good deal. Anyway, um, went there and didn't get anything. It was a total waste of a drive because we went to a bigger one, which this is fun, but we went to a bigger mall because it had like a bigger Victoria's Secret and a better one. They always had better stuff there. So we went all the way out there, didn't get anything. Um, and as Friday was going on, I was tweeting about it. Thursday night, I went to charge my Apple Watch, put it on the stand and when you, put your Apple Watch on a charger, it will ding to tell you that it's charging. Everything was going good, didn't think anything of it, woke up the next morning, had 10% battery left, like nothing. So I'm like, all right, that's really weird. Um, especially because when I put on the charger, there was like 20. So I'm like, that just means I definitely didn't charge it all last night. So I was like, whatever, I put it back on the charger and about four hours later, I went back to grab it and it still wasn't charging. I'm like, what is going on? So at that point, I'm extremely frustrated. Apple watches are extremely expensive for what it is. Um, I love my Apple watch. I will stand by it forever. In fact, I feel so naked without it. I love my Apple watch, but it's so expensive to have owned this watch for like eight months and already it broke like or it's just not charging um so then i was like well, maybe it's a charger so we went and bought a new charger we tried other chargers it would charge for maybe a minute and then just completely stop and it was ever since i did a software update so i was super annoyed like at this point i was so mad like i was not in a good mood on friday because of my stupid watch like would not charge and i was frustrated that my husband spent as much money as he did on a present for me and it lasted all of eight months like that's terrifying to me because maybe you know like after it gets fixed like another eight months from now five months six months who knows it's gonna do it again and i'm not gonna be able to get a new one so it's like you spend four hundred dollars on eight months worth of a product freaked me out like really gave me a bad taste in my mouth i just feel it's crazy because i treat my watch like gold um so i was really not in a good mood on friday we ended up like writing them and they were like yeah you have to go to in store and we're like well is there any way that you can just like send us a new one or is there any way we can send it to you have it repaired and send back and they're like no you have to go in store so we set up an appointment for the apple store yesterday and we went to the appointment we were a little late but thankfully they still took us pretty quickly for how busy it was um had a wonderful genius or whatever you want to call him and he helped us out like immediately he just like quickly like noticed hey yeah you have a problem um what we're gonna do is we're gonna send you a new one um i guess what they still had to do is they had to send my watch in um in order to have them look at it all they have to do is just say yep there's a problem and then they send me a new one and it's i asked i was like is it a refurbished one or is it a new one and he goes it is a brand new watch and i said no like honestly tell me the truth is this a refurbished one or is it new and he swore up and down it was a brand new one so i am having a brand new apple watch sent to me because i was still within warranty still makes me feel really uncomfortable because like i said who knows how long this thing is gonna last and i will be out of warranty and even if i had like like i can still buy apple care for it let's say i did what the only issue was the charging thing like it just was not charging it was not my fault i didn't do anything to the device like they looked at it and he's like this device is like perfect i don't understand why this is happening and i'm like i know i treat it better than i treat a lot of humans which is a joke but um i was telling him i was like i treat it very very well and so i don't understand why this happened and so what's making me uncomfortable is thinking that when i'm out of warranty i'm gonna have to pay it was 229 dollars if i was out of warranty i would have to pay and if you had apple care i would have had to pay 49 dollars so you're telling me on top of a 400 hundred dollar watch we would have to spend another hundred dollars for apple care then when there is a problem during that second year I would have to pay in another, I'd still have to pay to have it repaired or replaced or whatever. Like totally, totally blew my mind. Um, really put a sour taste in my mouth. When it comes to like your phone, having that replaced every two years, it almost makes sense to have Apple Care to do that extended warranty. It's kind of useless. Like on my phone right now, I don't have any Apple Care and 
I make sure it's in a life proof case, but again, yet who knows, like if I were to do software, who knows what would have happened. But I've been having really good luck with my iPhone, thankfully. But when it comes to the watch, I'm not gonna change it out every two years. It's not like a phone. I'm not gonna spend $400 this year, two years later spend another $400. It's just not gonna happen. I'm not doing that. So I want this thing to last me more than two years. So that is like a big eye opener, a big heads up. If you get the Apple Watch, get warranty with someone. I don't know if you can get insurance warranty somewhere else, whatever it is, just get yourself covered because I have the brand new Apple Watch and this is happening. So hopefully it's a fluke. Hopefully they still last. If you guys have an Apple Watch and it's lasted more than two years for you, please let me know. Um, let me know how good, you know, how long you've been able to have it last because I'm frustrated and I'm very disappointed that this is how it is. I'm very grateful I get a new watch, like totally grateful, especially because now um, I'm not going to have it for a few days. So what I'm going to do is buy like a screen protector and a bumper for it, which I didn't have on this one um, just because I hated the way it looked. But I also hated the scratches more. So I am going to get a screen protector. So anyone who has the Apple Watch, please tell me your favorite screen protector and bumper. I don't like the plastic bumpers because if that traps in any kind of dirt, it will scratch it. It's it's happened with like my iPhone. If I had a hard case on, it would scratch the back of the phone. Um, so let me know if there's any like TPU ones or any that you've used for a long period of time and have had really good luck with it not scratching your phone at all or your watch at all. So we ended up doing the whole thing with the mall, getting the new watch, and I ended up realizing that this mall that we were at is getting a brand new Victoria's Secret and Pink store, which I am so excited for. And I'm really excited about that because I do love Victoria's Secret and Pink. Like, don't get me wrong, I love it. I just hate when you say you're gonna have an amazing deal and it's not. And then we ended up going to dinner last night, which I snapped. We ended up going to a place called Firebirds down in Orlando. So now it's today. I just have to have a chill day. Like, I, that's all I wanna do. I don't even know if I wanna film. I think I'm just gonna vlog today. I am going to edit my vlog. I have one to go live today. I don't know, like, why people who work through drive throughs like why you gotta be so grumpy? Why you gotta be so grumpy? Don't be grumpy. You're making money. Be proud that you're making money. Be happy you're making some money. Got me some dirk. Some dirky dirk. And it's delicious. They did it right this time. Thank you, Duncan. You did it right. Now to go get some eggs, because I want some food. regret coming here because already I'm upset people leave their shopping carts right next to their car what what is that about like don't do that because then guess what no one else can pull it next to you or they leave it in front of their car so people can't pull it in front of you oh so I keep forgetting his tax free weekend but I went out anyway like I said I totally forgot um but I ended up getting some whitening mouthwash and I got myself a cordless vacuum which I'll show you when I get home um I'm excited for this one this isn't the one I haven't read like any reviews on this one it was a decent price I guess originally it was like 60 something dollars but it was down to 49 so picked it up we'll see how it works oh my gosh this is the one that i got i got the black and decker pet cordless hand vacuum i have a charging right now i use this thing like whatever little baby battery was like left in here i used it for maybe a minute and my couch is already clean it had very little suction and it still picked everything up. The way that the brush head, there's like a pet brush head and then there's like a regular um, one you would use to get into like tight crevices and stuff. And so with the pet brush head, it has rubber bristles, which my robot vacuum works really well because the bristles are rubber. So it works really well for like pet fur. So I wanted to make sure I found like an actual handheld vacuum that had rubber, rubber bristles or like rubber whatever type of like head on it. That way I could really pick up all of the you know dog hair and stuff it basically the bristles are rubber and it literally did such a good job with very little battery i think the battery lasted me maybe a minute tops and i was able to get the entire top of the couch already done it didn't take multiple swipes like it, especially what it does with my like 
mitt I've showed you guys that I use on the couch, it takes one swipe and it's already up. So it works really well and that's not even with the full power. Um, there's like a power boost option too which I didn't even use, I didn't have to. Works really well, highly recommend it. Okay, now I can finally start editing my vlog. I had a little bit of lunch, I had a little chicken sandwich I talk to you guys about all the time and I had um, leftover mac and cheese that I made the other night. So. I had a little bit of that. The only problem I have with those chicken sandwiches, if you guys like are gonna go get it from Costco, be aware that there's like, I don't know what it is, but it's like something hard that seems to be in almost every single one of the sandwiches. It's like a tendon or I don't know, but like every sandwich seems to have it. So it's almost like they don't check to see if there's like hard pieces in the chicken. It's just very, very weird. I came home, it was not happy because I have got to figure something out of where I'm gonna keep the cat's food now because the dogs go for it every time I leave and I forget to put it up and I shouldn't have to. I should not have to move the cat food when I leave the house. Um, this is like a new thing that the dogs are doing, a thing they used to do when she was a puppy. I think they like rediscovered the whole food situation and now they're always eating it. And then not only that, I guess Bella pooped while I was gone and Athena ate that, which I know is so TMI, totally gross, but I'm pretty sure it was Athena who did it. So, in the midst of me being gone, maybe 30 minutes tops, they ate cat food and ate cat poop. Really disgusting. So, if you guys have never had Chobani's Flip Greek Yogurt, you guys have no idea what you're missing out on. It is by far my favorite. We love this yogurt. So I'm gonna try and get away from the vacuum really quick. Um, but I finished editing my vlog. It is now exporting. It actually edited quicker than I thought it was going to. So I'm feeling a little jittery <laughs> from the coffee. Usually when I have to edit vlogs, I'm always like dreading it because it takes forever, especially for an hour and a half um, vlog. But actually it was pretty easy to edit. So anywho, I'm finally going to begin uploading my vlog. It's probably going to be actually live late tonight because I'm actually going to go over for a few hours to my um, brother-in-law's house. They have my niece in town, so I wanted to go see her. I haven't seen her maybe in two years. It's been since I've seen her. So she's a teenager now. She's a big girl. So um, I wanted to be able to go say hi and everything, but um, I'm not too sure when I'm going. So I'm not sure when I'll be able to actually publish the vlog live. No. So it's gonna be maybe even tomorrow this vlog goes up. Hopefully not tomorrow, but nah, maybe. There's a part of the vlog that got messed up, so I actually have to cancel this one and re-upload. I just put chapstick on, so I'm sure it's all over my face. Why is like why does it look like this? Oh, I can't wait for the new iPhone. But I'm just not leaving um, their house. It I'm getting home pretty early, so I'll be able to get some cleaning done still and get my Sunday chores I like to get done every Sunday so I can have a really good work week. So I am home. I went ahead and did a little bit of vacuuming with the new vacuum. I got home with the dinner. It was really nice to see everyone and really nice to see my niece. She's gotten so tall and so big and so beautiful and it was just really nice to see her. We're gonna hang out with her again, I think on Thursday. Hey guys. I don't know if I vlogged at all so far today, but today is Monday. I've got a lot of cleaning done and stuff. That's why my hair is up in a bun. I should probably drop it down and make it look a little cuter, but it is Monday. I've been getting a lot of just like note taking done because I need to get a blog together. And then I have been doing like just some YouTube stuff so far and just kind of like getting my Monday morning started. If there's any fall content you guys are interested in, let me know. Ugh, verdict. Not all of the Chobani Flip yogurts are very good. I had the Strawberry Summer Crisp one. It's in a red container. Was not very good. So there have been these guys across the street doing like wood chipping or whatever. And I couldn't figure out like what they were possibly like chipping because I never imagined these neighbors cutting down this tree. This tree was like gorgeous. I love this tree and they cut it down. So they were going off and I don't know if it was a mixture of them plus like a huge storm on the way. I don't know if it what the mixture was but I ended up getting this headache that literally was making me feel so nauseous. I took some medicine a little bit ago and I feel a lot better but that really sucked. Good morning you guys. It is Tuesday. I haven't had any coffee yet because 
I feel like, which I'm not gonna do any makeup today, I don't think either, because I feel like I have some sort of like sinus issue going on. I noticed Ronan's ear has been bugging him today, and I had a really bad headache yesterday, and the headache felt like sinus pressure. I can't stop sneezing and yawning. I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee, I still haven't yet. Let me know if any of you guys, like I have read and heard from a lot of people that like you can wash your fruits and vegetables and put them in sealed containers and they stay fresh. Let me know if you guys have any experience with that because I would like it so much more if I could buy a ton of produce, bring it home, wash it, and then store it. But then some people say not to do that because that causes mold quicker. Just let me know how you guys store your produce. Do you wash them as soon as you get home and then store them in a seal tight container? I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Publix. I wanted to try something new. So I went ahead and picked up this cold brewed coffee. Every time I go, I always wanna pick up a cold brewed coffee because I've never tried it before. I picked up this one. I know a lot of people use, I think it's the chameleon one, but I think Target has it much cheaper than Publix. Publix's I think was like 10, no, 13. It was a lot of money. I know I saw it cheaper at Target than at Publix. So I went ahead and picked this up because it was on sale. So this is just the Stoke cold brew coffee it's in the not too sweet i've never tried any of these though so if this is like gross and you guys are like oh, she got a stupid one like i've never tried it so i don't know and then my little five-year-old self and me saw these were buy one get one free so i picked up some fruit gushers and then i found these yogurts these are obviously the Publix brand of yogurt. I got two flavors because they didn't have a lot. This one is strawberry shortcake. And then for my husband, I surprised him with mint. He loves chocolate mint. So it looks like there's chocolate pieces and then mint yogurt. And then I ended up just getting some bananas. It is so hot. So I guess I need to invest in a smaller tumbler because this stuff is delicious. I only filled it up to here. I haven't even taken a sip out of here. Um, does not need any sort of cream or anything. It tastes delicious just like this. I'm sure they have some sort of sweetener in it so that you can drink it like this. This is definitely going to be a new staple, I think. If you guys have any recommendations on how to make cold brew at home, let me know if there's any like fun, nifty little device that you guys have used. Let this girl know. Oh my gosh, Bella just jumped onto the table chair. I've never seen her on this chair before. Don't mind my yogurt thing I just got on there. What are you doing, Bella? You silly girl. What made you jump up there? You're a silly Bella. I definitely have to clean this table. That is so precious. She loves Mr. Ronan, but Athena always chases her, so she doesn't hang out with Athena very often, because Athena likes to chase her. But she loves Mr. Ro. We all love Mr. Ro. He's the best. Yeah, you like to cuddle him? You guys are so cute. <laughs> Did I catch you? You have to act cool now. Oh yeah, last night, I may or may not be listening to Nightmare Before Christmas. I totally am. Last night, the dogs just kept barking so loud and wouldn't stop. And I'm like, what are they barking at? And come to find out, like there was a cat, I guess, that was like walking the tops of the fence, which this cat always does. And the dogs ran out and were like barking at this cat and the cat wouldn't move. It blew my mind. I'm like, why isn't this cat moving? So my husband went out to grab them and the cat finally ran away, but it was so weird. Good morning guys. Today is Wednesday. I have my Apple Watch coming today. I am so excited. I ended up ordering two new watch bands for it, which I didn't need watch bands, but these ones like I totally fell in love with. I really think I'm gonna like them a lot. I've been wanting more of like a leather band. I'm really nervous about it though because I don't know how it's gonna work in the shower and I do wear my watch in the shower obviously because I do have the series too. So I'm not too sure how that's gonna work out but I do have my watch coming and then I have two leather bands coming and a um, pack of bumpers. I'm waiting for my Apple Watch and then I have a protector for it. I don't know if I can recommend it yet, but I bought a screen protector that's supposed to cover the entire screen. If you see most Apple Watches, the way that screen protectors, which a lot of people don't understand this concept, the way screen protectors have to work is because of the Apple Watch having a, a rounded edge and even the iPhone, because there's a rounded edge, a screen protector cannot cover the entire screen. It used to in like the five and the four and all that, it used to be able to because they weren't rounded. But now that the six and all of these have, six, seven and all that have come out, they're rounded edges. So the screen protector cannot go to all the edges and it's the same exact way with the Apple Watch. So screen protectors, unfortunately, so that they don't lift on the sides, which is 
so annoying. They have to only cover the flat surface. They can't cover the rounded edges. Well, I found a screen protector that will cover the rounded edges, but apparently it is super tedious to put on. It's like super, I don't know, you have to be like really patient, you have to be in like a non-dusty area, you really have to take your time to apply it. So I'll let you guys know if I think it's worth it. I'm really kind of nervous to do it. I'm typically okay with putting on screen protectors, but I use like different tips and tricks on putting it on. This one doesn't really have any tips and tricks. You just kind of put it on. I'm gonna put that on as soon as it gets here. I'm gonna immediately put it on. I'm not even gonna like set it up with my phone. I'm just gonna put the screen protector on because I don't wanna take any chances. So right now I am watching Life of Kylie. I wasn't sure I was gonna watch it, but I'm going to. I have to wait for FedEx to get here because I don't wanna miss them because you have to sign for it. So I just, I don't wanna be gone when they get here. I want to get out of this house so bad. Watch the first episode of Life of Kylie and it was actually pretty, decent so a brand just reached out and asked to work with me and i am so excited to work with this brand it's not a brand that i had ever heard of before but it's one that i'm really excited to work with because i really love this product and i don't really have a lot of this product and i really would like to feature this product anyway I'm really excited. So I'm having a good day. I just want to get my Apple Watch so I can run to the store and go get some stuff. Yay! I have my, oh my goodness, I got my Apple Watch. I am so excited. I got my baby back. Da 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 da. But oh, I got my baby back. Oh my gosh, I'm so stinking happy. I finally got my baby back. <sighs> Thank you, Apple, for sending me a replacement one. I don't know why I feel like you guys are so lucky to see me at such a gorgeous state, but it is what it is, so feel grateful that you get to see me like this. Y'all, so much for being super excited. My Apple Watch has a crack in it, and now I don't know what they're gonna do. I really hope they send a new one because this one has a crack in it. I was promised it would be brand new, so I don't know if something happened with the carrier or something, but I am devastated right now. This has been a total nightmare. Like, why do days turn like this? They go from like such a good note to like such a bad, bad note. Like, I talked with the repair team and he didn't make it, he almost made it seem like I was lying. He's like, you know, there's no way in, in being able to know when it happened, if it happened, you know, at the warehouse or if it happened during shipment. He goes, unless the box is damaged, it probably didn't happen during shipment. He's like, I don't really know what I'm gonna be able to do for you. Our system is down. I'm gonna have to get into your account in order to be able to access it. And like, it's just giving me the runaround and I am so, I feel so upset right now. I don't know if I'm gonna now get a new watch. I, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able, and this is like really strong for me to say, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to literally put another penny towards Apple if this is how you're treated when you buy a new device. I just got my Apple Watch in December. It broke because of them. It was their error why it broke. It wasn't because of me. There was nothing I did on my end that caused my original Apple Watch to fail. So then I'm promised to be sent a brand new device and I'm sent a brand new device to what I, I would think it was and there's a crack in it. And then when I call the support team, I'm almost treated as if I am lying. And that I literally am in almost tears because I am so upset. This is such like an important device to me. This is something that is very expensive and I don't, I can't believe that I'm being treated as if I'm lying or as if I'm not telling the truth. I just feel very uncomfortable with the entire situation right now. I don't even know what to think. I don't know if I could possibly give them another penny because if this is how they treat their customers, I really don't know if I could ever buy another Apple device again. I'm so, I'm like shaking right now. I'm so upset that that is how I'm being treated. He, he said he's gonna take care of me and I believe him. He says, I'll take care of you. Either we're gonna have you send the device back to us or um, you know, he said he'll take care of me, but I almost don't believe him. I never knew the amount of anxiety I would get over something so materialistic, but I'm having to like literally woosaw myself down. I know it sounds so lame, but I am I don't like being accused of lying and I don't I'm trying to wrap my head around what I possibly could have done in less than an hour of owning the device. 
how I personally could have done it. I'm sitting there, I'm like, me opening the box, did I do that? It wasn't dropped, it wasn't anything. It literally is just cracked. I don't know what else to think. I'm just so uncomfortable and I don't, I don't believe that they believe me. I really don't. I think they think I'm lying and they're not gonna send me a new device. It sucks so bad how like, you can go from such a high to like, almost devastated. I guess I've never felt this way before. I've never had to deal with something like this before. If I broke something or I caused a problem, I just sucked it up and just got mad at myself. But right now I'm just upset with Apple. I don't understand why I'm being treated like it's my fault. I just don't understand why like the biggest company like in the world is, is treating someone as small and minute as me like I'm the problem. I guess it just... I don't know. I'm sure it's just the person I talk to um, because typically, like I say, I always have amazing, amazing experience dealing with Apple. The person I originally talked to, she was fantastic. It's just this individual I spoke with just really kind of rubbed me the wrong way and really made me feel like it was my fault and my problem and my issue I had to address. Let's move on. So yeah, I don't even want to talk about it here anymore. Let's discuss something better. Holy crap, you guys. I made myself a new coffee. Now it looks really like milky. Um, I added some of my actual like creamer to it. I poured in barely any creamer and it is so delicious. I really think I'm gonna love the unsweetened, like just their plain one. I think I'm gonna love it with a little bit of creamer. Oh my gosh, cause this is delicious. So I don't have obviously a watch to show you this stuff on, but I did end up receiving the cases that I bought for the watch. Um, if you guys hear my vacuum going, I apologize. I wanna make sure these are even new because the box is in like terrible condition. So they seem to appear to be new. These ones seem really nice. These are the ones I got. It was a set of five, but it has a rose gold, a black, a silver, a clear, and a gold. So your girl is getting taken care of. I will be getting a new Apple Watch. I feel a lot better about the situation. I do feel at ease, at peace, grateful, thankful for the whole situation. And here is to hoping like, this is kind of also like, a PSA to tell you guys to really check your device because if this happened to me I don't know if it'll happen to anyone else like it really took me really having to look at it to even notice it was there Anyway, that is enough of that story. I'm just grateful I will be taken care of. Why are you just sitting there destroying all the toys? I don't understand you're literally going toy by toy and destroying them Stop good morning guys. It is Thursday, it's the beginning of this vlog. Um, I just got my Kalo bands in. I guess they came in yesterday. They were supposed to be here tomorrow, but they came in yesterday. So um, I got my Kalo bands in. I got the pearl one, the pink one, and the teal one. The teal one is not as pretty as like their, um, what's called Foxfire teal. It's like nowhere near as pretty. So I'm trying to figure out how I wanna stack them up, if I wanna wear all three, if I wanna wear two. I usually just like two rings. I think three looks kind of stupid. No offense to those who wear three rings like on the daily, but like, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'm getting work done and then we're gonna go hang out with my niece. We don't really know what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna bring her here just to hang out. Um, we're gonna have her, my sister-in-law, and my other niece come over. Hopefully my sister-in-law wants to. We don't know if she does or not. But we're gonna have them come over and hang out with us. And then later on we may go bowling if my niece wants to. It's kind of just whatever she wants to do. I'm trying to make this a much more pleasant vlog. I'm a little still frustrated about the whole like Apple Watch thing. I feel a little bit, I feel cheated. I don't know, I feel like, I feel a little cheated because I don't know if I'm actually getting a new device or a refurbished device. I feel like they may just be telling me it's a new one, but I have a feeling it's refurbished. And I, that just makes me feel cheated. That makes me feel like you're just gonna tell me what I wanna hear. Um, and that bugs me really bad that that's how it would go. Before bed last night, I literally spent hours just watching a YouTuber's like fall video like series, like playlist. I watched like every single video. I watched all of them because I'm just in the mood. So actually, this is actually the end of this vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching such a long vlog. It's gonna be crazy to edit, but I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not following my social medias, I will have them linked down below. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>